if I got a penny every time someone asked me this particular question, I would be boiling by now. And the question I get asked often via comments, DMs, emails is how do you create PDF sewing patterns? Now, if you are someone who's curious about this topic, make sure to keep on watching. But if this is your first time seeing me, hi, my name is Priscilla. I'm an Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK. And on Kim Dave, we talk all things fashion, design, and the reality of running a fashion business in today's day and age. Now, if you like to find out the actual process of creating PDF or digital sewing patterns, make sure to keep on watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave any further questions you have in the comment section down below, and I'll make sure to get back to all of you guys in due time. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Before you start anything, I will say two things are important if you want to create your own PDF or digital patterns. It is important that you know how to make flat patterns or draft patterns like by yourself because if you understand the principles of you know the different parts of the body and how to divide those measurements and how to create patterns on a flat or how to drape on a mannequin it will make your life a lot easier when you are trying to create that pattern digitally the second thing that is important to know is i say it's very important that you have an idea of how adobe illustrator works because that's the software i use there are many other softwares i can use to create a digital pattern but the one i use and i'm conversant with is adobe illustrator so know how to make your own patterns and be comfortable or have like a good understanding of how Illustrator works. Perfect. The next step will be to decide what garment you want to make. Is it a shirt, skirt, corset, trouser, drumsuit? Decide whatever you want to make and plan that design in terms of how many pattern pieces you want to create because that will give you an idea of what you need to create digitally as well. Also decide on the type of collar, the type of sleeve, where you want the pocket placement. If you can do like an illustration, just a rough drawing of this, it would give your mind a lot more clarity before you go into drawing anything. Plan that out, sketch, do a quick sketch. And if you can break down the design into the panels or the patterns that you think you will need now if it's a jumpsuit for example you know you need a bodice you know you need pants whether you want to do that separately or as one piece write that down or just do like your rough diagram of what you think that pattern would look like if you want it to have sleeve to have collar to have pocket break down the garment into the pattern pieces that you know you will need to create write them down decide if you also want to make the pattern on half so if you want to do like half of the front or half of the pants or half of the sleeve then that way when you are doing it digitally you make it on half and then you leave your instructions that pattern pieces need to be cut on a fold or you need to cut two if you want to create it as a full piece like one front one back write that down and note that as well because when you are creating the instructions that go with the patterns you need to take note of that so people who will use that pattern actually would know how to use it the aim is to create the patterns to full size scale or human size. I say once you open your Illustrator file, create a new page. The first thing I like to do is I have a work table and this work table can be two meters by two meters, like a big square or a big rectangle. You can just drag the square tool and pull that across the Illustrator page. So you have that as a work table. That table would give you an idea of scale when you are creating patterns. It also would guide you if your pattern piece is getting too big and you know you need to find a way to rearrange pieces to fit on the table or on your ad board. So when people have to print it out on A4 paper or A0, you have a guide. So that work table dimension, I think is two meters by two or three meters by three. Once you have that drawn in place, that is where you actually would go in and start drawing in the digital patterns for whatever garments that you have decided to create. Now that you have your work table drawn and you're ready to actually start creating your PDF patterns, the way I create it is actually like how I would draw on a flat paper. So how I would go in and draw a center front line and mark my vertical lines, that's how I create my patterns digitally. So when you have your work table, there is a pen tool that sits on the left side of the screen. That's the tool I use to draw my patterns. And I have the line weights to two or three, so it's visible and clear. 
and I will just start from the front. So say it's a corset, I will start from the front part of the corset, draw the center front line, mark my horizontal lines and just go ahead and draw it like I'm drawing a physical pattern. Now it's important to note that the pen tool, as you drag it across the screen, it tells you how long like that line is. So if you click and pull it, you actually see the measurement come up in centimeters. So that gives you an idea of how long your line is as you are drawing it. So once you have that your line drawn in place, make sure that the line that you are drawing, the measurement of that line correlates with the measurement of the particular dimension of that body. So if you want to draw half of a bust line that is 90 centimeters, you will click and drag and divide that by two that's 45 and then that's how long that line would be so that's how you're able to draw lines that are true to your measurement because the pen tool as you click and draw it it tells you how long the lines are now it doesn't have to be perfect the first time you make your pattern whenever i do my base pattern i just do it in one size and i would say start with simpler garments so if it's just a simple skirt trouser or a simple t-shirt start with simpler things and the more patterns you create the more you understand how different parts of the body works the more you become more comfortable using the tools as well because illustrator can be overwhelming there's a lot of information there and there are some things that i don't even know myself but just the more you do the more you practice you become more comfortable and you can start to experiment on different garment types once you have your base pattern drawn this can be a simple test if this is your first time creating one i would say pull those lines into ad boards ad boards you can create on illustrator as well and ad boards are typically the dimension of a4 paper that's how i usually would design my patterns and have them ready for people to print and use on your own so pull those lines into ad boards and then print and test them this is very very important with digital patterns there's a lot of printing and testing because accuracy is key especially if you plan to sell that pattern the worst thing you can do is create a pattern that when someone uses the lines don't match or the measurements you've given them on your size chart do not match the measurements of your pattern so print that out test it out and when i say test it actually cut fabric even if you just half of the garment stitch that put it on yourself put it on a model see how it fits because from doing that you are able to detect errors that you can go back and change on your pattern once you have your pattern done and you're comfortable that you're kind of ready to start selling this i would say it's important to actually recruit pattern testers now these are people you can scout on the internet it can be friends or family members who are people who create their sewing their own clothes and you want to give the pdf pattern to them to say you know what try this use this tell me what the user experience was like because that feedback would help you to one check errors to help you identify if the pattern is actually easy to use and people understand the way you've made it it also would tell you if there is some type of information that is missing in the instructions because it might be oh um i didn't quite understand how to cut this part or how to connect this part from people using and testing it you can go and feed that information into your instruction manual or instruction page that is typically attached to pdf sewing patterns and there you have it guys that's basically the entire process squished into what a 10-15 minutes video it takes me a while to create my own pdf sewing patterns because i like things to be done well to be accurate to be done to a really excellent standard so in five or ten years if someone goes and buys a pdf pattern for themselves it actually is still a good product it takes me about a month to create mine so it's a time consuming process if you're going to be doing yours yourself if you don't want to you can go on fiverr people per hour linkedin you can go on different platforms and recruit pattern makers or pattern drafters there are also companies where that's all they do you just give them the measurements they just make the digital patterns for you and then they send it to you so that's another option you can consider there are also websites like iclo where you can feed in your measurements and it generates a pattern for you and you can just print it at home so digital pattern is definitely a great way to make money as an independent designer or as a small fashion brand but it can be time consuming so you just have to balance out creating it well and then also not taking too much time as you make it 
However, if it's your first time, I say start with simple garments, test it out, repeat, rinse, repeat until you are happy with the outcome. If you have any further questions, please leave them down below. I know I've gotten lots of people asking me to do a workshop, but I've tried to actually conceptualize what a workshop would look like, and I don't think a week would be enough to actually teach PDF pattern making the way I understand it. Maybe that will change in the future, but for now, I, I'm not really sure. But if you have any further questions about the topic, about creating sewing patterns, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, comment your ideas, thoughts and suggestions down below. And until next time, have a good morning, afternoon and evening wherever you are. Bye.